Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. Really appreciate you popping over to the channel. It really does mean a lot. Um, we're going to lay out some cards and see what the weekly messages for you are. Um, and if you are at a private reading with me, please feel free to be in touch uh, via email. Otherwise, um, let's give the cards a good shuffle and see what's coming up at Earth Signs. What do they need to know um, this week? What is coming up? There's lots of emotional healing happening here, Earth Signs. This is fantastic. It can be around an Aquarius or a Pisces. This person has come up um, in your cards. Okay, there is healing of a relationship happening. So if some of you are hoping for some sort of reconciliation or some reconnection, it's very likely that that's going to happen. Uh, and something will be open-ended here. So this is very interesting. The star card, looking at it, it's a major arcana card. So there is a major change in, in terms of things that need to be healed or worked on. Uh, there could be online communication coming from someone you haven't heard from in a while, um, but someone that you still are emotionally attached to. Uh, you've cared about, you've had a history with them. Maybe you were once married or connected. It very well feels like it's an ex um, partnership or an ex that's coming back into the picture for you uh, so you may hear from this person and it's almost like you may sort of plan your life differently this week with them in mind the three of ones is a card of future planning future choices and long-term potential so uh, there is a reunion of sorts it could be perhaps online or via skype or this 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 connection uh, that's going to bring you back to this person now, if you're traveling, you might even bump into them unexpectedly. There is a trip or a journey that's that's being taken. And I feel like it has something to do with this person um, or an announcement of a trip of some kind. Now, this is big because there's a big emotional exchange happening here. So there, there could be some tears or there could be a lot of emotions. Emotions are high. Um, so it may have something to do with your planetary stars, your alignment, um, astrology, because we see the stars here. So it could be around you and this person. Pisces energy is, is water energy. The Aquarius, although is an air sign, uh, it's, it's re represented by the water bearer. So straight away, strong water energy. We're actually seeing water and fire, uh, but water puts out fire. So there's a flame that's been, what I'm getting here is that there is a flame that's been put out that may be reignited once again. So especially if you've been ghosted or this person has left or you sort of abandoned a connection, it's very likely that that, re uh, that connection could be resurrected this week. So, so watch out for these sorts of big changes. Um, there's something about forgiveness maybe here or letting someone off. You might be in an energy where you feel bad, you feel guilt about a situation, you feel like you want to apologize or you want to reconnect with someone. Again, you're driven by emotion because the King of Cups is here. Something hasn't been sitting well with you subconsciously um, and it's coming up. It's coming up maybe in your dreams, it's coming up in deja vu moments, uh, it's coming up as visualizations, it could even be coming up through like your meditation. It's, it's your subconscious that's tr trying to tell you something here. And on some level, some of you may feel things like guilt or remorse um, or you're in a, this epiphany where you feel like you need to communicate those sorts of feelings. And it may be that you need to communicate with this person from the past. It could even be a block because some of you have someone in the past and you might even have a new connection with the Four of Wands. But it's almost like you can't feed that new connection as much as you want because you're too busy stuck in the past or you have these sub subconscious blocks. And if you felt like your current relationship hasn't been progressing or hasn't been moving forward, it may just be because there's this block that's happening from this previous connection or this previous relationship. And maybe this is you needing to forgive a person. Maybe you need to forgive yourself. But there's this element of needing to forgive and needing to heal. And I think that's a major hurdle that's preventing something from flourishing right now because whatever this is that's happening around you whichever sort of connection this is or whether this is an ex that's coming back into the picture holding the world in your um in your hands is, is a lot it shows that there's a lot of opportunity and things are very open-ended where they are right now so a lot can happen here 
it's not set in stone. There's a lot more possibility than you thought there was. And there's a lot more long-term potential. You've got the marriage card. So you've got someone that can signify marriage or that can be your marriage partner in the future. So straight away, there's a lot of value to this person. Uh, is it enough to drive you? I think so. The star is like when we wish for something. This is wishing upon a star and having our wishes fulfilled. So although the Nine of Cups isn't here, when I do see the star card, I do feel like our prayers are answered. I do feel like our wishes can be fulfilled. Um, I do feel like this is our cup overflows. Um, and we really come into this bounty energy. So you might notice even after forgiving that person or giving your, chair, uh, giving your ex a chance or reaching out to that person, you might notice that doors start to open up. And you might notice that it's going to open up the floodgates. Maybe in a really emotional way. Um, maybe not so. Maybe it's more in a subtle way. But either way, these cards do signify uh, transformation. Now, just noting that Four of Cups reversed. Normally upright, it's like epiphanies and changes and things coming to us, us knowing what's, what's going on in our lives. Um, it's reversed. So it's almost like you're not seeing the reason behind something or you're not understanding the answers just yet. And maybe that's because a higher power, whether it be God, um, your higher self, the universe, um, your guardian angels, there's someone here who doesn't want you to know the reasons just why. I think it will come to light fairly soon because you've got the star and that's knowledge, that's public knowledge, that's being made aware of a situation. So right now there's some things going on and you're not really understanding it correctly. Or maybe you're trying to piece together the reasons and you're like, well, that doesn't really make sense because why would they do that? And why would they say this, but do something different? Maybe you don't need to know the answers just yet. Maybe you're not ready to hear them. But either way, this course of action that you will take will open up the floodgates. And there's happiness here. There's a celebration that has to take place in love. And it could be a date, it could be a reunion, um, it could be a happy exchange, it could be a really um, refreshing or love-filled conversation. But whatever it is, it's going to bring more knowledge to you. And it's definitely going to have some sort of emotional impact on you, but also on your person or also on your ex or whatever this issue is, whatever this block is, this could be the things that, that this could be the very thing that unblocks the challenges and unblocks the hurdles. So a powerful unblocking could very well be in the cards here for you um, this upcoming week. And that's really beautiful. That's very powerful. Uh, and I wish you all the best with that uh, earth signs. Um, lots of love and of course healing if you are in need of it. Um, and hopefully we shall be in touch very, very soon. So thank you again so much for tuning in. Um, and I'm sure we'll chat very, very soon. So thanks again, everyone. And bye for now.